Welcome back after going more than 700 days without the state track meet. The last two days have not disappointed one bit and today the ch chance to put a bow on it. All four classes running finals only good weather for the most part and another day where Drake Stadium felt filled to the brim. Sit back and let's soak it in. We start with class 4A and the first event of the day is the sprint medley. Centennial getting a great finish from Thomas Collins. 131.72 is your winning time. Up to the boys 800, Anae Akuk from Ames needed to beat 153.08 from the first heat and he just edges that time. 152.95, he is a state champ. I mean, yeah, it means a lot. I remember uh, four years ago when I was a kid, I used to watch these people run. And I always told myself, I'm going to be a state champ. You know, and it feels great to be one. The girls shuttle hurdle relay. Waukee head and shoulders above the rest. The second best time all time and four straight wins in this event. Senior Kinsey Winger is now a three time champion. <laughs> it's going to make me emotional because I love these girls. They're like my best friends now. So just having one last hurdle race with them as my last time doing shuttle ever. So it's awesome. The title of fastest man in 4A goes to Dowling Catholic's Mikey McLean. Takes 0.14 off of his PR. The junior is the state champ in the 100 and he'd win the 200 as well. I don't think it's hit me yet, but I don't know. <laughs> it means a lot to me, though. It means a lot to me and my team. 100 hurdles. Mackenzie Carney takes home the state title after winning this event at the Drake Relays. Today she goes 1454 for Waukee. The Waukee girls also take the 4A team title as well. 110 hurdles. Drama. The finish. Adam Wright watching the board anxiously. There it is. He wins by four one thousandths for the top spot on the podium and a big hug with dad after. The hug was dieting, waking up early in the morning on winter nights, lifting, training. That's what that hug was and supporting me all along the way. Four by 100 relay. Southeast Polk has been the fastest in the state all season. There they go again. Your winning time is 42.35. And in the girls four by four, Ames crosses two seconds ahead of City High to win the race. And in today's wheelchair events, Evan Carell sets a new state record in the 100. He also wins the 100, the 200, and the 400. In Class 3A, we're going to start with the 3A boys team title where it ended. The last race of the session, the 4x4, Pella entering with the top qualifying time, ADM second best, just a half point separating them in the team race. So essentially, winner of this is your team winner. Pella came flying out of the blocks, and by the time they got to the anchor, Carl Miller just has to hit the Jets. He seals the relay win and the team win, setting a new school record, 320 22-29 and a team title with 80.5 team points. I knew we were up just by a little bit and I knew if we were getting first we were securing the win so I was pumped and I'm super glad this team did amazing and bring it home. Boys Sprint Medley ADM's Ethan Jurgens takes the handoff for the final leg of the race. He'll bring them home 134.05. Girls 800 Ainsley Erzin of Carlisle won this at the Drake Relays. She leaves no doubt with a time of 209.79. Erzin is now 11th best all time in her first state title on the track. It's been a long time coming for sure obviously. I think last year um, going into it with the potential of four state titles and then having that taken away was super hard. Um, but I think it just made this moment even better. So really grateful that I was able to be here today at all, especially in a packed stadium. She would also take home another gold in the 1500. Up next, Erzin turns her attention to the Carlisle postseason in soccer. Boys 800, Nate Mueller crossing in 154.83, his second first place finish of the weekend. He was not done there to the 1600. As good of a field as you can find in any class, Mueller has just a little more in the tank than Aiden Ramsey of DCG, running the mile in 416.7. And a big hug for mom right there after his third gold medal. Feels amazing, man. Just like been working for this for like two years now, ever since it got canceled and quarantined. And I'm just thankful for the opportunity. We got a bunch of people here, my family here. Just it was a good weekend. Let's get to the 100 hurdles. Bondurant Farrar Jr. Kendall Anderson wins by four tenths. She was the top qualifier, holds up in the finals. Boys high hurdles, North Polk's Hunter Manick just flying over those hurdles, takes home the top spot on the podium. He did this for his longtime coach. Our coach, Bill Cabal, has been coaching at North Polk for who knows how many years, and he's never had one, one state champion throughout his entire year, so I want to do that one for him. To the 200, Brevin Dahl of ADM shows up when it matters most. Just a freshman edging a top-notch field by eight one-hundredths of a second. He's hoping the first of many state titles. It's awesome getting here as a freshman and getting this experience. It was 
Really nice. And in the 4x100, DCG fends off Carlisle as they get the W. Class 2A Panorama getting a couple of great showings today from Jaden Sellers. The freshman won the 100 earlier in the day, takes home the 200 title as well. A great start to her career. Now, honestly, I wasn't planning on going out for track this year, but they convinced me and now I'm liking it more. Down in 1A, Madrid was out there running circles around folks. The sprint medley team takes home the title by over a second. Jillian Dodds on the anchor leg there, the first of many on the day for the Tigers. In the 100-meter dash, Dodds edged Ella Santi in the state qualifier. Today, Santi crosses in first, joining her dad, brother, and sister as an individual state champion. It's huge. I We prepared for this all season. We worked so hard, and just having it be real, it's, it's incredible. Ahead to the boys, 200 Fort Dodge St. Edmunds, Case Baker, Flying around the track, wins it all, 22-31. Then the rain started to come down lap by lap. The 1600 got worse and worse. It was pouring by the final 400 when Madrid's Jason Renzi is able to fight through and win, running 424-40. Madrid takes home the 1A boys team title. The rain eventually subsides, and the girls' 4x100 quartet can sing a winning tune. 50-92 is the top time, and with that, the Tigers win the girls' team title as well. They sweep Class 1A as a whole. So a great three days down there at the Blue Oval.